Good morning, Searcy High School. I'm Jake Williamson. Today is Wednesday, October 26. Today we will have Olivia Langston with a story over some scholarships, Daniel Burley with your updated five cast, and Jessica Tubbs with the latest sports announcements. Let's jump into things. To start off the show, here are a couple of announcements. SHS and the Arkansas Department of Health will be holding a flu immunization clinic on November 14th. The packets must be returned by November 3rd. The last chance for boys basketball tryouts will be held on Saturday, October 29th at 9 a.m. You must have a current physical and be on the list to try out. Now let's send things over to Olivia with some helpful insight from Ms. Roddy on saving money for school. I'm sure a lot of our seniors and maybe even our juniors have been wondering how to find ways to make college a little more affordable. So I sat down with Miss Roddy about some opportunities you could have to make that possible. Well, I go in with all the senior classrooms and their English classes and I talk to all of them about scholarships and how to apply. And, um, so I talk to all of them. Then I have kids who come in who have questions throughout the year. I, couldn't tell you exact number. There's a bunch that come through. Every year, Miss Roddy makes sure she gives every senior the college advice they need. Well, I always encourage the students to go ahead and apply for uh, anything that has an essay because a lot of times kids, uh, there aren't as many applications for scholarships with essays. If college isn't for you, Miss Roddy knows about some other opportunities that are great for your future. But there are lots of opportunities within the vo vocational world um, and even in the military or whatever uh, that they can get into that provides a very nice uh, career and can provide for their families as they grow up and go forward. There are many different types of scholarships, but they all focus on the same things. How good is your GPA? How well does that correlate to your ACT? Are you someone who appears to be someone who will do well in college and will that money that they're giving you go toward a good candidate? Even if you may not qualify for more of the bigger scholarships, Arkansas provides a way. It's called the Academic Challenge. Uh, Arkansas Academic Challenge Scholarship. We call it the lottery because the, the lottery funds it. The only thing you have to have to get that is a 19 on your ACT and then maintain their requirements to uh, throughout your college career. College may seem like it's a long ways off, but it's better to start working hard and applying for colleges during high school. I would say in their junior year they really need to get a, a baseline of different colleges they're interested in. So when they get to their senior year, some colleges have very early uh, application deadlines, priority deadlines, and that can be er in November. And so you kind of need to know what your game plan is and apply for more than one school. Go for your big dream, but also be more realistic so you have lots of options. If you have any more questions about college or scholarships, you can stop by the Guidance Center and speak to Miss Roddy. Back to the anchors. Thank you, Olivia. Learning about scholarships is actually really helpful, and I'm sure for this year's seniors, it's flying by. Speaking of getting help to pay for college, if you are a child, grandchild, or great-grandchild of an American legionnaire in good standing of two or more consecutive years membership, please see the Guidance Center for a unique scholarship opportunity. Searcy High School will administer the ASVAB or the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery test on November 2nd in the high school cafeteria. Interested students must sign up in the Guidance Center by today. Now let's go over to Daniel Burley with our local weather. Good morning, Searcy High School. I'm Daniel Burley, here to bring you your weather this morning. Today we'll have a high of 80 degrees. It'll be partly cloudy with your rain at 10%. Your wind is going south-southwest at 8 miles per hour. Your humidity is at 60% and your sun rose at 723. On to tonight. We'll have a low 59 degrees. It'll be cloudy outside. You'll have a 20% chance of rain with your winds going west-southwest at 2 miles per hour. Your humidity is at 82% and your sun will set at 619. Let's take a look at the five cast. On Thursday, we'll have a high of 79 degrees with a low of 55 with a 10% chance of rain. On Friday, we'll have a high of 84 with a low of 61 and another 10% chance of rain. 
On Saturday, we'll have a high of 85 and a low of 61 with another 10% chance of rain. On Sunday, we'll have a high of 83 with a low of 58 and a 0% chance of rain. And on Monday, we'll have a high of 83 with a low of 61 and a 10% chance of rain. That's all the weather I have for you today, Cersei. Back to the news desk. Looking like some jacket weather this week on into next week. Thank you for those updates, Daniel. The Fine Arts Club will be going to Glass from the Past on Wednesday, November 2nd. To stay updated on the world of Searcy High School sports, let's go over to Jessica Tubbs. Thanks, Jake. Last Friday, the Lions took on the Jonesboro Hurricanes. Unfortunately, we lost 45-18. to Better luck next time, guys. The ninth grade football team will have a game Thursday at 7 versus Moralton. FCA ASU game day will be Saturday, October 29th. The cost is $25 and includes a ticket to the Red Wolves football game, rally, t-shirt, and meal. All students going must return a permission slip. The deadline to turn in permission slips and money is today. In world sports, the Cubs will be going to the World Series for the first time in 71 years. They have not won the World Series since 1908. In 1908, a loaf of bread cost five cents and sliced bread was not a thing. Alaska and Hawaii were not states and the American flag had 45 stars, so good luck to them. The NBA started last night with the Knicks taking on the former NBA champions, the Cavaliers, in the first game and the last game featuring the Spurs and the Warriors. That's all I have for your sports today. Back to the news desk. Thank you, Jessica. Well, Cersei, that is all we have for today. Do not forget to participate in Red Ribbon Week and go all out in tacky attire on Thursday and red and black on Friday. Also, remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Cersei High at Lion TV. And if you miss an episode, you can go to CerseiLionPress.com and follow the link to the Lion TV website. Until next time, I'm Jake Williamson. Have a great drug-free week, Cersei High School.